God made this red snapper and, and made Rosie to mm -hmm. fry it for me mm -hmm. to perfection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try some of the head. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm. And a lot of flavor. <laughs> and a lot of flavor. And then here. For, for soups. Wow. A lot of flavor in here. Y'all know I'm nasty. Mm -hmm. A lot of flavor in here, but it's it's okay. It's okay though, because I'm with my friend, mm -hmm. Rosie. She allowed me to be nasty in the house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody, and welcome to Tam's Table. So excited to have each one of you at Tam's Table. So pull up a chair and take a seat and ring the bell for VIP. A brand new video is coming up now at Tam's Table. What's up, everybody, and welcome to. Tam's table. Y'all, I'm so excited to have you here with me today. To all of my VIPs that have subscribed and you run that notification bell, thank you so much for rocking with me. And to all of my visitors, you all are welcome to pull up a chair because today we have a special guest. We have Eating with Rosie. Thank you. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me in your home. Y'all, Rosie has cooked for me some amazing island food. She, you know what I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna let her tell you all what she cooked for me. I got you some red snapper and I fry them for you. One is non-breaded and the other one is breaded so you can have both experience. Okay. And I have you with some tostones on the side. You gotta have the lime to go with it. Yes. So you can have that full experience and then on the side you have that seafood sauce okay. that is going to be interesting because I haven't tried it and I can't wait. Okay. So, I can't wait. So I watched her um, fry this fish and to stone is myself with my own eyes and this is authentic island food. So this is the non-breaded and this is the breaded one. Mm -hmm. And what are tostones? So tostones is made of the green plantains and you actually cut them up and you fry them. After you fry them, you actually then uh, smash them and refry them again so they can be perfectly crispy on the outside but soft on the inside. And what I will do is I will insert a video of her preparing everything for me. Okay, so here we have the red snapper with the head on. Uh, Rosie is going to season it. She's gonna squeeze some lime juice all over it. Mm -hmm. okay, so yes. what are you going in with now? So now I'm gonna go with adobo. Mm -hmm. that's, that's our thing, adobo. Okay. We're gonna sprinkle some of it around like here. We're gonna put some inside. And I have here some black pepper. Yeah, I'm learning because I'm gonna make this Yes, it's real simple. I'm gonna okay. make this for myself. Real simple. I've been looking at your video. Woo! Woo -hoo! Hey, babe, we done got pop with the oil, honey. <laughs> excited because I've never had red snapper and I've never had it prepared of course this way so she's gonna teach me how to eat it we've already blessed the food and so we are ready to jam ah, girl. Girl. okay come on so <laughs> what, what do I do well the, uh, normally the first thing I would do is take off the head because take off the head just yes. like a uh, crawfish yeah you watch Ashley <laughs> take off the head y'all make sure y'all subscribe to eating with Rosie I have all of her information in the description box below. Okay, so am I taking too much of the head mm -hmm. or just no? Nope, yep. That's well, the yeah. Head. Let me see. I took too much of the head. Yeah, you. I think you did. Yeah. That's just like so. me taking too much of the head. <laughs> right don't mad there. me. So right there, this is the head. We're that's gonna the put head. We don't want that yep. part. Okay, so we want the yep. meat. Yeah, that's all you want right there. That okay. Meat. So I can eat this. Yeah, just be careful. It's with, hot. Yep. Just be careful just with the bone, right? right? Mm hmm Just gotta be careful with the bone. Go slow in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I knew this was gonna be good. Mm. Y'all, I saw her eating this on her channel for Thank God It's Friday. Mm. And God just dropped her in my spirit mm. and said, You gotta go over there and get some of that fish. And so mm. I, I eased in her DMs. 
I said, Rosie, how did you make that fish? And she said, I don't mind cooking it for you. I would love to have you here at my home. Listen, this fish is so good. Mm. When she's invited me in her home, it wasn't on no clout type situation. Cause she didn't even know I wanted to film this. Not at all. <laughs> Not prepared. But I came ready to film because God said it on my heart to film with this beautiful YouTuber. She is a YouTuber. Yes, you guys. Her channel is Eating with Rosie. Yes, so I was calling. Soul. And so are you. I was calling her Rossi when I was shouting her out. When she hit her 1K, I was like, shout out to Eating with Rossi. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong, wrong. It's Rosie. Yes. Her name a lot is of people get it, get it. Rosie, come here, Rosie. I'm like, um. Mm -hmm. Your name is Rosa. Yes, my name is Rosa. So it, Rosie for short. Okay. Yeah. And in um, many countries, um, Mexicans, friends, Hondurans, they'll call me Rosita. Rosita. Yeah. I can't roll my tongue. I try. <laughs> Ro Rosita. You, you got it right did. there, girl. Did. You did. Now you are from the DR. From the Dominican Republic. Yes. Dominican Republic. And this is something that you all eat yes. regularly. Yes. And on the beach is the perfect thing to have. You you, you get your fish fresh off the ocean, Ooh. fried up. Yes. That's what I'm excited for you to try here. This is mm -hmm. her seafood butter sauce that I smelled when I walked in the door. Mm -hmm. And very, um, mm. very th typical to have mm. fried fish on the beach with some tostones. Okay, let me try mm -hmm. these toast on this. Mm -hmm. Now, am I supposed to dip these in anything or just eat them? Mm. Try it. This is my first time I tried it with the sauce. Toast on this. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Some sauce in there. Mm. Okay, so you're right. They're not sweet like plantains. It's like a potato and it chews like a fried potato. Mm -hmm. This is good. Mm -hmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. And I can tell why you went through the process, what you did to cook them. Mm -hmm. They need to be blanched. And then refried. And then refried and smashed down. So they could be crispy. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you see, I normally just mm. actually pick, pick on that. And you mm -hmm. see these big ones? Mm. We don't need those. Them bones, y'all. Don't talk yeah. about them bones. Mm -hmm. We mm. don't need those. I see them bones. Mm -hmm. we, that's what, we don't want that. We got plans tonight. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're on there. Okay, so how long have you been in the States, Rosie? So, my parents mm. came to the um, United States when I was one year old. Okay. So, then my, my father was a, a businessman. He had a grocery store in New York. Mm -hmm. So, we used to live in New York in my early ages. Mm -hmm. um, then... They actually sold the store and moved to DR. Okay. So then I had to readjust to DR and learn Spanish. Oh. And yes, so I was in between both countries, coming and go, go, going back and forth. Let's mm. say. Okay. So I'm very familiar with their culture in DR, mm -hmm. but I also grew up in New York. A okay. Bit. Okay. And what brought you to Atlanta, Georgia? So my son, I used to live in um, after New York. I went to Maryland. Mm -hmm. I had an aunt there, and I met my husband at the time, and started my family in Maryland. Be going. They listening. Mm -hmm. I'm eating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, from Maryland. Since um, my son was diagnosed with autism, I had to always request more more services and help for him mm -hmm. with the school system and the county. Okay. And it wasn't working, there wasn't given. So I did my research and I found out that Georgia had a better system. It does. So Great I system. decided, yes, so I decided to make the move for him, I had I got in contact with the Marcus Autism Center here, mm -hmm. and 
that was the opportunity that was the window where i saw that god opened door here mm -hmm. and i decided okay it's time for us to make the move right so it has been great because he has made so much progress mm. you know in the past few years at the markers good i'm glad and to hear yes, that yes it's like night and day so god has opened the doors and brought me here awesome uh -huh. awesome okay Rosie, tell the people, my VIPs, mm -hmm. why you started YouTube. What brought you to YouTube? Mm -hmm. And how long have you been here? It's been a little bit over a year. Mm -hmm. um, I started February 14th, Valentine's Day, 2021. She started on February 14th, Valentine's Day, 2021. Valentine's Day, 2021. <laughs> Um, that was the first day I actually put my first video out, which was nerve wracking. Mm -hmm. For I, us all, for us all. It was nerve wracking. Mm -hmm. I um, I had to tell myself that I need to put fear to the side. But you know, mm. we all go through that stuff when we first think about becoming a YouTuber. Absolutely. And turning the camera on. But Absolutely. actually to turn the camera on and actually record mm -hmm. and get ready to post a video, that's like a whole nother level. Y'all, this seafood sauce is slamming. Mm. Oh my gosh. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed it because I put a lot of love. You did. I can tell. Mm -hmm. So you came on Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. It was nerve wracking. What no, made you start? What made you hit record? So in the middle, I was in the middle of actually a divorce and moving out. And just the divorce itself. Mm hmm could take a toll on anyone mm -hmm. so that kind of drove you to youtube you needed what an outlet you needed yes i was trying to focus on me trying to focus on something that is going to give me i felt like i didn't have a hubby but i needed i needed something for me something that i enjoy i used to put pictures and videos on facebook and it would be like hmm, you need a picture why, why are you why are you doing you know you needed something to call your own I wanted I wanted to have a platform where I share with people exactly the same thing that they like as right. well. So I found the Mukbang community as being one of the most loving communities. On Very YouTube. much so. Very much so, isn't it? Yes. And mm. and I mean, I, I, when I first started, I, I already was looking up to you. Like I was oh. already watching your videos. I was already. Um, looking at what I could learn from you. Mm -hmm. So it's special for you to be here today, Tammy. <laughs> Y'all don't even know, man. Y'all don't let me take let, let me take a little mm -hmm. sip, honey. She got me a corona over here. Y'all know I drink wine, but she mm -hmm. listen, she got me a corona I'm gonna, listen. Mm -hmm. Y'all already know. I have been on a break. I have had to take a mental break from YouTube for myself. Thought I was back when I came with my homie Debo. I wasn't back. But here we are again <laughs> with another fellow comrade, another YouTuber, mm. helping me to get back on board. Find your inspiration when and wherever you can. Thank you Absolutely. so much for agreeing to do this with me. Like, she didn't even agree. I just came in and barged and kicked down the door. <laughs> and listen, God put her on my heart. And I said, okay, we're going with it. Saturday <laughs> afternoon. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This right here, y'all, is the breaded one. This is the God one. God is a beautiful God. That he is. Mm -hmm. Isn't God good? Look at God made this red yes, snapper. <laughs> God made this red snapper and, and made Rosie mm -hmm. to fry it for me mm -hmm. to perfection. Mm, he did. Mm. I want to see. I want to see how you're gonna like that, cause now you're gonna have the other experience. Now I'm gonna have the breaded one. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace. I want to try some of the head. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of nutrients. Mm -mm. I heard. Mm. And a lot of flavor. <laughs> and a lot of flavor. People and then for, for soups. And so they use this for soups and stocks mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. Wow. A lot of flavor in here. Y'all know I'm nasty. Mm -hmm. A lot of flavor in here. But it's it's okay. It's okay though. Because I'm with my friend, mm -hmm. Rosie. 
she allowed me to be nasty in the mm-hmm. house. That's <laughs> <laughs> we do. Okay. Yeah, we mm. So, when did you hit 1,000 subscribers on your channel? It, it was up to recently, actually. Mm-hmm. Th- that, you know, I received so much love from the community. It, it was amazing. I, it, it, I cried. I know you did. I cried. Me too. When I hit 1K, I cried. Mm-hmm. I was in the tub and I had to have a moment. Mm-hmm. And it, it was amazing. And I received so much love um, the from you. Mm-hmm. Yes, from so many people, like, just sharing my videos. And, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing. So I was so, so grateful to every single one of you guys that, you know, watch my videos and, mm-hmm. you know, being in and out with me because... I know, I, I know, I have to work on consistency, but you know, listen, life we happens. All, yeah, life happens. Um, I know when you did hit 1K, I wanted you to put a challenge out mm-hmm. because I'm all over it, mm-hmm. and she never did. Mm-hmm. But I was gonna be right there by your side. I know you were. I was gonna be one of the first people to do because I love to celebrate people's accomplishments and milestones. Mm-hmm. I don't like to do challenges just because. I mean, I have a couple of them out there, like. What the fuck you slipping on and um, snack the stat, you know, mm-hmm. stuff from way back. But now I want to be more purpose driven and that's why I wanted her to like celebrate her 1K. But I understand that life mm-hmm. happens. Absolutely. But it's coming. It's oh, listen, yeah. Oh, it's coming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can celebrate it now. Exactly. <laughs> there you go. What a better celebration. Right. Now that you're bringing that up right here, right now. <laughs> what a better celebration. Mm-mm. We can celebrate right now. This is it. This is it right now. This is it right here, right now. Mm. This moment. With this red snapper. Whole red mm-hmm. snapper. Get into it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ooh, girl. That one's just cute. go good with anything. I'm smashing that so good with the tostones. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, oh, this fish is right. so delicious. Oh. Mmm. 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 Mm. Mm. Get your hands in there, Tam. Mm-hmm. That sauce. I'm trying to be cute because I got. <laughs> y'all see my pink jacket, but I got on a white tank mm-hmm. up underneath, and I got mm-hmm. plans after this. <laughs> when I leave here, mm-hmm. baby, I got plans, baby. But mm-hmm. this is so good. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Get into it. You gonna be cooking for a lot of people. I got a feeling. Mmm. Hey, Amen. I'll. You gonna Flame be, it. You're gonna be selling this sauce and cooking this fish and tostones for a whole lot of people. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. Where did you learn how to cook like mm-hmm. this? I always had an interest in cooking. Ever since I was I didn't used to watch like cartoons. I used to watch people cooking on TV. I she just like me. I was grown. I ain't listen, I didn't watch kids shows when nope. I was little. Mm-mm. I was grown. I watched talk shows, game shows, mm-hmm. cooking shows, cooking with Emma. But it was an everyday thing for me. Like I will every day at eleven o'clock if I wasn't in school. It, that, that I'm watching, you know, this big lady cooking DR on the DR show. Like, mm-hmm. and you learn how to cook this fish on a cooking show or mm-hmm. from family? No, actually, I just um, I when I had the restaurant, there was a part years ago back in 2012 11 yeah 11 12 i had a restaurant with my husband at that time Mm -hmm. so i got into frying fish to have fish in the menu because we specialize in rotisserie chicken oh but we needed to have some you know you know me you know i'm a foodie so i gotta have everything on the menu Mm. so i was trying to have some fish on the menu Mm. that's when i learned I remember my grandmother always said that you don't need much for fish. You just need to make sure you have lime. You have a little bit of adobo in there. You Listen, know, if you have regular I showed you all what she put on this fish, and it wasn't much at all. Mm-hmm. And this fish is bursting with flavor. Never thought I would be a fan of red snapper, but I am. And this is delicious. And it's good for you. It is. Mm-hmm. So I can eat me some fried red snapper and I can say it's good for me. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Please do. Every time you have it, they say, hmm. Rosie said it's good for me. Rosie said it's 
said, don't snap this ch this fish out of my hand. Rosie said, let me get that bone. Mm. Rosie mm. said, this mm. good for me. Mm. Now move. Mm. 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 Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. This is so good. So, last but not least, I want you to tell me what are some things that you would like to do on your channel? Who are some people that you would like to work with? Like, what do you want to do? What are some goals that you have that you'd like to share with us? I like to get to know amazing people like I have already, like you, people that, you know, have the same, we have the same goal that connects us, which mm -hmm. is the mukbang community, right? Mm -hmm. So, food connects us. It so, does. Because so, it's universal. Yes, it is. And you put so much love into food that it's it's an amazing it's just an amazing thing I, I like sharing food with people you love is one of the most favorite thing for me to do so yeah i mean i i love to get to meet so many people work with different youtubers you know if it comes but mainly just a friendship to work together and help each other show love because that's what this world needs more of love so you want to build relationships mm -hmm. that's your main goal yeah absolutely like just share love with everybody and one because, another. And I'm going to tell you this, because her purpose is so pure, it's going to happen for her. Mm -hmm. And she's going to be blessed. Because it's always about your purpose. What's your intent behind your actions that you put out into the universe? And that's nothing but purity. What, what she said, just to make connections, that's why I started. I needed an outlet. Yeah. And I also appreciated the, the sense of community that the mukbang community I mean, full force is is bigger and it's better than the gaming community, mm -hmm. the beauty world, the blogging world, mukbangers. They stick together, love. and I'm like, that's what I need. It's love, love, love. So, I and that's so one of the things that I, I that I love about you, Tim. That you know, regardless of your subscribers count, you stay humble. You stay to yourself. I do. And, and and you just continue to share in love. And man, mm. whichever YouTuber. You know. <laughs> Every YouTuber is not yeah. like that, we yeah. all know. Yeah. It's, but you know, take from the people that you value. Look at the people that you can rock with that are like minded and roll with them. I connected with her a while back and she DM'd me and she said she's in the Atlanta area too. But when she DM'd me, it wasn't time. But now is the time and everything is aligned. You know, all the parts could be there. And this is to my VIPs. You can have every single part in your life there to start your business, to start a relationship. But if, if, if all those parts are not aligned, the vehicle will not move. That's right. It won't happen. Everything has to be aligned. And everything aligned with me and Rosie. I am so happy and grateful. Right? I'm grateful too. Thank you so much for cooking this beautiful meal for me. She really made this in love. Y'all, I thank y'all so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to Eating with Rosie. If this has been your first time here at Tam's Table, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. That's how you become VIP. And that's how you know when it's time to come and eat with me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it out. My name is Tamara Faye and this is Eating with Rosie. Have an amazing day, y'all. Peace. Mm -hmm.